Now, all I'm saying, all, all I'm trying to tell you is I ain't gonna let them, I'm, I ain't gonna let them play me like that. Nah, you know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna get at me like that. What it is, what it do, it's your boy, it's Mr. 20 West. And I'm coming live to you, baby! Yes, yes! Look, was, it's a long time coming, and you probably was thinking like, yo, Mr. Tony West, why are you not wearing the talking jacket? Today, ain't no talking jacket, baby. I got my jacket on, I got my all black on with my mask, my black Jesus, and my hat on, my scully. You know why? Because this this video is about that action. Alright? Go ahead, run my run my ending for my beginning, and we're gonna start over. Let's go. What's going on, people? Boy, Mr. Tim West, I got my boy Callie over there, parked with the trailer, with a wild motorsports. About to go in here and go get T-Bike, so we can uh, start the process of breaking it down and uh, building it back up. So, about to go in this bad boy and see what they tell me. They had a lot of, lot of extra to say over the phone. And I, I felt like I needed to come in here and see you know in person what it is so we shall see people okay we got the zx6r here all right we got it from wow so they took out these wheel bearings because they, they were they call themselves you know checking it out whatever see what the mirrors look like right now that's cool. So all of this was like messed up or whatever and the guy at a while was like, his name's Ken. He said that uh, that can be reused. There's nothing wrong with the uh, sprocket, which is good. I have to take that off my price list, you know? But I got brakes and everything else to do. I don't know what the fuck to play with. So, it's all good. Look at that. Oh! All right. So, of course, you've seen the bike at Wild Motorsports, okay? That's the ending to the beginning. So, let me start the story from the beginning. Um, and sometime in July, my girl decided, me and my lady decided to upgrade, right? Well, we already was having a conversation about upgrading her bike. And what I wanted to do is to go purchase a bike off Craigslist and, um, you know, Something that I, I know that I, I'm gonna have to put work in. Something I know that I'm gonna have to like take time to make sure that everything's completely good. You know, I like to drain the oil, uh, change the brakes, uh, get everything really inspected on the bike. Just cause I know I have to do those things because Craigslist is not the safest place in the world to buy a bike. It's not the worst place, but it's not the safest place, right? So most of my bikes that I purchased for myself, I got from Mountain Motorsports. But when you financing a bike, it's like the worst thing ever. Unless you're going with cash, and then there's you know the the having to pay an astronomical amount. I'm not gonna lie to you. For a brand new bike, it, it is pretty pricey. You know what I mean? But you pay for a peace of mind. I guess that's what you can say. But if you know uh, a used bike, does the same thing. Anyway. My girl had it in her mind that we're gonna get this bike from Wild Motorsports, which I had heard stories about Wild Motorsports, you know, with the, uh, there was a guy at Teller the Dragon who actually got a bike from Wild Motorsports and the bike completely cut off. He only had it for like a week or two and he was just like, I'm not really sure why the bike's doing this. You know, they had it serviced before I got the bike. Well, that was then, that was probably about two years ago when I heard the story, so. Talking to the the, the, the salesman James, um, he he kind of reassured us that like everything is cool to go through wow right. Um, I when, when we went up there, we seen this beautiful ZX6R 2009 bike. My lady was just going insane. She was just like, oh my god. See, I had already known that we could trade in her bike for another bike, you know, as a down payment, you know. You still financing the bike, but they'll use your old bike as a, a trade-in value. That's what Mount Motorsports did, so I was thinking the same thing for a while. So my girl had the bike for about maybe like two weeks. She didn't even get to ride. She didn't get to ride it um, because it was raining that whole month. So 
when, when we when she went to go get it, she took it home, of course, and the bike had to sit there because the rain was just so terrible that whole week, weeks, and uh, then she she really didn't get to ride it like she wanted to because she had got a, a nail in her tire, and she got the nail in her tire, went through this whole ordeal to try to get her uh, tire, you know, get the tire changed out. We took it to my friend's shop at my, I mean, at Motor Style, and she had, luckily she ordered a tire from a girl, and of course we had to get the tire, her back tire off her bike and take it to Mountain. We took it to Mountain Motorsports and they did, the, uh, they changed out the tires or whatever. We brought it back to my, my uh, Motor Style, my boy put it back on the bike, okay? My girl ended up going to Amicola Fall. It was a beautiful ride. Like everybody involved with that ride to Amicola Fall, shout out to them because it was like very peaceful, and mindful. I wish I would have did like some yoga out there, but it's hard to carry all these yoga mats on the back of a motorcycle, right? You know, it's this it's gonna be the hardest thing in the world to try to get it. Okay, anyway. So we ended up uh well, yeah, that trip was awesome. So, me, my girl, and my boy Sully decided to do another trip to uh, uh, Lake Lanier. So, my girl only rode this bike like three times, max. The bike, they, they sold it to us for 7,000 miles, but it actually had four on an odo odometer. When we left freaking Amicola Falls, uh, my, my girl was just like, yo, it's making a weird sound like a rock got into it. So the salesman was like, if it make that sound again, just bring us the bike, right? And uh, the sound just went away. My birthday came around and me, my girl, and my homeboy Sully decided to go to freaking Panama, which is like 500 miles away. Now, I, I, you know what? I'm going to stop here. Run that commercial. Run that commercial, please. This commercial is brought to you by Mr. 20 West. Part of his favorite helmet collection uh, involves a beautiful speed and strength helmet. Black and white with the zebra stripes can never go wrong because you always look right. <laughs> Come alive to you and only you. Thanks for watching. Of course, James gets on the phone. He's like, uh, well, what's up? I was like, I, I, I'll come to you. So Friday, well, not Friday. I'm sorry. My birthday. Now, this this time, this is my actual birthday. Because when we went to Panama, it was to celebrate my birthday that was coming. So <laughs> we went in, and I had the video. I have a video of the bike. You know, what's wrong with the bike? So James, he says, well, just bring the bike up here, man. Just bring it up here. We'll check it out. We'll get everything right with it and stuff. And I'm like, I feel like y'all guys sold us a bike with a bad wheel bearing. You know what I mean? And um, it kind of it hit me. Like, you know, I got this bike from you guys. And I, I got my girl on this bike. You know what I mean? And like anything could have went wrong. And... You guys put my girl on this unsafe bike, and, and the more I thought about it, the more I was just getting madder and madder, and I'm like, listen, listen, we're going to bring this bike up here, man, like, y'all need to fix this, and and I'm, I'm, I'm just really livid, you know what I mean? So, they had the bike Sunday, Monday, you know, of course, they're closed, Tuesday, they're open. They call us Tuesday, they tell us, they give us the rundown of the list of what's broke with the bike, and then... They, they decided to, you know, take it a step further and was like, no, that's not us. It's not us. You know, you guys had the, the wheel changed. Um, we did have the wheel changed. And the guy was like, well, you didn't have spacers. Well, listen, we purchased the bike. You know, it had problems with it then. And we didn't get a chance to bring it in because your salesman said everything's okay. If it comes back, bring it. We're here. I was like, nah, because you know you guys ain't have spacers, so you know the worn out wheel bearing, da 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 da, this and that. Like he did a whole bunch of talking around in a circle. And what happened was I realized that Wild Motorsports is not like Mountain Motorsports, where they like really, really go 
over the bikes. Like I've seen people uh, at, at Mountain rebuild the motorcycles. I've seen them get the motorcycle out the crate. Now, mind you, sometimes it do take forever because when I got my FZ09 handlebars fixed, it took like maybe three weeks for them to get that part just to fix the handlebars. So I know they slow, but you know, I never had a wheel bearing go out on a freaking, on my bike, ever. And the guy was like, it's just the spacers and, and all this stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna call my boy and we gonna come get it, all right? They like, okay, cool, come, you know, come on. We get there, then they start saying stuff about how, you know, you gotta pay a service fee for the technician and you gotta do this and that and the third, and it's gonna be 350. Start. It's gonna start off at 350 to fix this problem. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna be a while. You know, this and that. And I'm like, what? I gotta pay a service fee for something that your salesman said that we were good to bring it up here, bruh. So I mean, me, me and my boy went up there to do some talking. And they, like, at the end of the day, the manager was like, um, you know, we're sorry about this. I'm sorry none of this was mentioned to you. Um, if you if you want a warranty, because we, we, me, I thought that we got a warranty. I was there the day we went to purchase this bike. I was told that we had, we was getting gap through the company we was financing through, and that we had a warranty from them. So when I brought the bike, I said, oh, we got a warranty. When I, when I, found out that none of that was a real thing I kind of just got really really mad and upset and, and the reason that, this, that I wanted to make this video was first to say thank you to the people that saved us from Alabama I really appreciate it if you guys ever come across this video I you know a million thanks to you guys a million positive vibes to you peace prosperity all of that you guys are wonderful and amazing people thank you just continue to be blessed uh, to Wild Motorsports, I felt like you guys did a whole lot of talking in the circle instead of being straightforward. I'm a type of person that goes straight to it. And, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And if I'm right, I'm right. And the business that was done just felt really shady, man. Like, I got a friend who bought two bikes from you guys. And she had, like, the best time with you. And then there's me who was told a certain thing and it just went sideways. And... I mean, y'all tried to, they, they they really did try to rectify it when we got there, though. Like, the I, we had to do some talking. The the manager was all like, you know, we're going to waive any fees, and we're going to let you guys take the bike. You dang right you're going to let me take the bike so I can go ahead and fix it. And then when I was walking out of the room, the manager was like, yeah, because we had a bad wheel bearing on it, you know what I mean? But, you know, you guys didn't have the space on it. So it hit me like, wait a second, you knew? You had a bad wheel bearing on this, and you still sold this bike. That's when it hit me. I gotta make a video to say this. Now, my problem with that was like, bro, listen, if you buying a bike from them, or if you buy any bike from any used bike dealership, and I mean anyone, I don't care if it's small time, big time, just go ahead, take it to your own mechanic to get looked over at. I mean, it might cost you a little extra money, but at least you'll have peace of mind because you don't want to be on some crap that catch fire or that cuts off or the wheel goes a little to the right or it's just the engine lock up. You don't want none of those problems, so just go ahead, get it looked at. As always, it's your boy, it's Mr. Tony West, man. I really did not want to make this video, but I needed to make this video. Shout out to the people that's out there looking for bikes, bro. Take your time, find a quality bike. If it has any leaking on it, if there is any damage on it, just walk away, bro. Start over. Start over unless you're willing to work on the bike yourself. Peace.